Okay, we're completely done with Route 116. We did get two new berries, the Chesto and... What was the other one? Chesto, a whole item that awakens Pokemon in battle. Very useful for when we get the TM4 rest later on. And the other one was... Oh, Pineapple Berry. Oh, it's just a po Pokeblock ingredient. Hey, Mr. Dude. Hope you don't get fired because we have the Devon Goods now. Oh, how'd it go? The Devon Goods? You did it. You got them back. You really are a great trainer. I know. As my thanks, I'll give you another Great Ball. So we get another Great Ball. Excuse me, please. Please come with me. <gasps> Do we get a reward? This is the Devon Corporation's third floor. Our president's office is on this floor. Ooh. Someone very, very important. Anyway, I can't tell you how much I'm grateful for what you've done. Um, by the way, that parcel you got back for us. Could I get you to deliver that to the shipyard in Slateport? It would be awful if those robbers tried to take it again. Uh, yeah, so could I count on you to do that for me? Oh, that's right. Could you wait here a second? We need to deliver a parcel to Slateport. Our president would like to have a word with you. Please come with me. Do I get a career? Well, we're already on our Pokemon journey to become a champion. Please go ahead. I'm Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. I just got word about you. You saved our staff not just once, but twice. I have a favorite task of an amazing person like you. I understand that you're delivering a package to the Slateport shipyard. Well, on the way, could you stop off in Duford Town? I was hoping that you'd deliver a letter to Steven in Duford. Okay, so we have to deliver a parcel to Slateport and a letter to Duford. Now you should know that I'm a great president, so I'd never be so cheap as to ask a favor for nothing in return. That's why I want you to have this. We receive a Pokenav. That device, it's a Pokemon Navigator, or Pokenav for short. It's an indispensable tool for any trainer on an adventure. It has a map of the Hoenn region. You can check the location of Duford and Slateport easily. By the way, I've heard that sinister criminals Magma and Aqua, I believe, have been making trouble far and wide. Magma and Aqua, we encountered Aqua, but not Team Magma yet. I think it would be best if you rested up before you go on your way. Oh, thanks, dude. We did finish those trainers. Finish battling those trainers on Route 116. Well then, go with caution and care. Okay, so like we said, we have to deliver a parcel and a letter both on the way to Slateport. Oh, let's talk to these scientist dudes. What is this? What are you working on? A blueprint? It looks too complicated. Uh oh. I'm developing new kinds of Pokeballs, but I haven't made much headway. <gasps> You'll make some soon, bro. I believe in you. Oh wow, that's a Pokenev. This came about as a result of our president's desire to learn about the feelings of Pokemon. Would you like me to describe its feature in detail? No, no, I think I'll find out just by trying the Pokenev out. Fine then. Um, here's the map of the Hoenn region. We get it in the in our pockets now. Condition. Oh, these are. Oh no, these are more conditions. But this tool is ha a very handy if you want to rematch trainers. I believe there are a couple we can register now. We're developing a device for talking with Pokemon, but we haven't made much success. Aw, uh, just catch the Meowth from Team Rocket. I'm trying to develop a device that visually reproduces the dreams of Pokemon. But it's not going well. Aw. Uh, what are you? Or what are you working on? A company allows us to make our inspirations into reality. One could not for a better environment as an engineer. What about you? I've been trying to develop a device that resurrects Pokemon from fossils, and is working! <sighs> he is gonna be very important, but much, much later. He is a fossil re resurrector in this game, but we haven't gotten any fossils yet. You're always welcome here. Oh, thanks. Do I get a VIP pass or something? Welcome to the Devon Corporation, where proud producers of items and machines that enhance your life. I'm developing an added feature for the Pokenav and it turned out great. Jason might save that Pokenav, the one our president gave you? No. Okay, it takes it anyways. There you go. I added a new new feature named Match Call. Oh, I already hinted to that on accident. Using Match Call, you can chat with people who have been registered. Our president stone should be registering your Pokenav. Test it out. Give our president a call. 
is already in our numbers match code. Devin President Mr. Stone. Let's call him. What's up, bro? Can we borrow some money? Did you call me? The Pokemon must be working properly. Other people will be registered, so try calling them up too. Good, good. You seem to be quite happy. Hmm. How could I know that? It's because I'm looking down at you from my office window. Wahaha, see you again. Wow, must be a nice view. Okay, I'd better get back to work. Please take care, Jason. Hmm. Okay, since we have to deliver the deliver that letter and the parcel, I'm going to be right back and backtrack to see if we miss any hidden items before moving on. Oh, before we get the remaining items, there was one NPC house, the most important one in my opinion in this whole city. And possibly one of two in the whole game. This guy. Huh? My Pokemon's so cute. So, sure, I knew that, but if you really want, I'm willing to trade it to you. I'll trade you my seed up for Ralts if you want. This is the one of two Pokemon that are prerequisites to set up the most powerful glitch in... The entire franchise, in my opinion. We don't have- what I mean, we do have a Ross, but I don't have a Ross to trade. I will keep in mind for the post game because we can't do anything with the Dotty traders right now. It will be holding a Chesto Berry. And Ross is kind of annoying to find. I mean, not for me because I can RNG manipulate, but I don't feel like getting a Ross right now. Oh, and... An optional trainer battle right here. Oh, hi, Jason. You had a match call feature put on your Pokenav. Let's res register each other so we can contact one another anytime. And without our will, we've been registered, or we registered mate in our Pokenav. I guess he's on his way home to the cottage by the sea. How's your Pokedex coming along? Meh, not too worried about that. So, how about a little battle? Yeah, why not? Let's get the free EXP. You're starting out with Torkoal, level 13. Rosetta, you're level 13. You're even level. And good thing we started off with Rosetta. Torkoal is a fire type with very high physical defense. And you're cursing. Oh no. Your speed's gonna drop, but your attack and defense is gonna raise. Rosetta. Please don't get hurt. Torkoal is a stage 1 evolution, so it has kind of beefy base stat total for right now in the game. Especially for Rosetta. Oh man, another curse? This thing doesn't die. Oh, it doesn't die. We got a very well timed crit. Thank goodness it didn't attack. Got pretty lucky. Gotta send out Mudkip. Oh. It's still not evolved? I mean, we did over level our starter by one. Oh, your Mudkip's one level away from evolving. I was using Bide. Does Bide work on special attacks? We're about to find out. Or will we? It might live with one HP. Oh, more like two. And it does work on special attacks. Rosetta's dead. No. Oh, and RJ picked up an item. I totally forgot to check that. Now your Mudkip is dead. And we defeated me. Yikes, you're better than I expected. Thank you, and thank you for your money. Oh, by the way, Mr. Briny, who I just passed, Jason, you should... You just moved here, so you might not know this, but Mr. Briny was once a revered sea f a seafarer. Oh, wait, you found that out from an NPC in Petalburg, I think. Oh, that's all you're gonna tell us? Not even gonna heal our Pokemon? No. Nope. Yeah, she didn't. We received an Ultra Ball! Oh my goodness, isn't that like a 1% pickup rate at level 4? I'll throw it on screen, but let me heal first. I'm gonna have to run all the way back, but there's a little shortcut available to us. Uh, I showed it- oh no. 
It was off screen. Never mind. We never got this X accuracy for getting cut. Oh, and um, a little lesser known fact if you are like near tall grass and you use the HM for cut, look, check it out. It'll get rid of some of the tall grass, but only in a one tile radius. And that's very short. It's whatever. <laughs> I, I usually forget that exists in the game. Oh, I got a free miracle seed just for having the gym. Well, we needed a cut to get over here, so makes sense. Mingle was found at Route 103, where we first fought May in our adventure. It can be found 10% of the time. It is a water and flying type. The same typing as Gyarados. It has the ability Keen Eyes, so its accuracy can't be lower. Very useful for all these sand attacks you're going to be taking early on. It evolves into Pelipper. It's a physically defensive water flying type, which it is unique. It's usable, but... Using its flying attacks off of base 50 attack for fully evolved Pokemon, this thing tries to be both a flying type and a defensive water type and it doesn't do either particularly well. If you don't want to challenge yourself like having a low BST run, this thing is fun. It will be fun to use. Okay, that's all the items we can get for now. Mr. Briny's Cottage. We can finally visit the dude everyone keeps on talking about. Pico. Why are you chasing this Pico? You were there. You're supposed to help us. Mr. Briny. Hold on, lass. Wait up, Pico. Uh hmm. You're Jason. You saved my darling Pico. We owe you so, we owe so much to you. Oh, you're Mr. Briny. What's that? You want to sail with me? Mm hmm. You have a letter. Bound for Duford and a package for Slateport then? Quite the busy life if you... Uh, yeah, we must lead the busy life. But certainly what you're asking is no problem at all. You've come to the right man. We'll set sail for Duford. Yep. Let's go. Anchors away. Pico. We're setting sail, my darling. Let's give him a more of... Not an old man. More of a sailor. More of a sailor voice. This is a scripted Pokenav called Dad. Where are you now? It sounds windy wherever you are. I just heard from Devin's Mr. Stone about your Pokenav, so I decided to give you a call. Sounds like you're doing fine, so that's fine with me. You take care now. That's it? Just to tell us that you found our Pokenav number and that we're doing fine? Not even checking up on us? Man. The main protagonist must have grown very distant in the future towards their dad. Ahoy, we've landed in Duford. I suppose you're off to deliver that letter to who was it now? Steven! Duford Town, a tiny island in the blue sea. In a blue sea. Wow, you bothered across the sea to visit Duford? Did you maybe come here because you heard about Brawly? No, who is that? He's so cool, everyone idolizes him. Oh, and you, I think you gave us something. Gorge, gorge your eyes on this. It's a silk scarf. It's right at the cutting edge of fashion, yeah. Oh, I can see your eyes twinkling. You appreciate my dazzling style. Oh, you're a delight. Here you go. I want you to have it. We received the silk scarf. It is a whole item that boosts the attack of normal type moves. This is a renowned fishing spot. Are you getting the itch to fish? A little bit. I hear you and I like what you're saying. I'll give you one of my fishing rods. We received a key item, the old rod. 
As an added bonus, I'll even throw in a little fishing advice first. You must face the water and use the rod. Focus your mind. If you get a bite, pull on the rod. Sometimes you can snag something immediately, but with bigger catches, you only time the poles with your rod to haul them in. As for the better rods, we can register the key item right now. One more pale Devon Goods letter, the old rod. Let's put it at the top and register so we can press the lock and use it immediately. And every time you press select, if you get a nibble, you can reel in a Pokemon. A Pokemon's on the hook! And with all, with just a crappy old rod, we are able to catch magic cards and tentacles. Tentacool is like one of the best water types you can have in this game because it's a special tank. What was I gonna do? Oh yeah, we need to deliver this letter. But first, let's check out this NPC house. There's a lot to be said for living on a small, a small island like this in harmony with Pokemon and the family. I left a major part of Sleepport City when I married my husband here. Life goes by slowly on this little island, but being surrounded by the beautiful sea, that's happiness too. How sweet. Oh, and this building. I like this building. Buford Hall. Everyone's information exchange. And this kid. I like what's hip happening at Trendy. I'm always checking it out. Listen, have you heard about this new unavoidable television? That's right, of course you know. I mean, sheesh, unavoidable television. It's the hottest thing in cool. Wherever you're from, unavoidable television is the biggest thing happening, right? This is the NPC uh, just outside the Duford Hall. You can change the Trendy saying for all the NPCs throughout Hoenn. Let's say yes to his biggest happening thing. Yes, absolutely right. Unavoidable television is a definition of in right now. Let's speak to a few NPCs. Wait, no. I don't think you're... Yeah, I don't think these NPCs acknowledge the trendy thing, but it will spread. Just you wait. Let's go in the hall and check it out. I'm setting up on the hip and trendy... Oh, these are the NPCs. The hip and trendy unavoidable television now. Is it true that there is a deep link between unavoidable television and date? No. What? Is that so? It's not easy for an older fellow like me to keep up with trends. What's in vogue? Why does it have to be unavoidable television? I can't imagine what life would be like without unavoidable television. Yeah. These guys, that NPC, he's spreading the trendy saying. I forgot how to change it, but you can, it can't it can change. All you have to do is speak to the boy again, across the sea. Is unavoidable television even more popular? This whole business about unavoidable television. It's, isn't that a TV sh Isn't there a TV show on it? A TV show about a television. How ironic. I collect official unavoidable television licensed merchandise. Bro, there's even a kid selling merch? I respect the hustle, bro. Wait a minute, did you get a license to sell that merch? That's... You're infringing on someone else's intellectual property. I'm going to send a letter to the trademark holders and have you sued to the ground. I'm just kidding. They don't care. I compose a theme song. It's really popular. Okay, listen. Oh, unavoidable television. Wonderful, unavoidable television. I dare say, chap. It would pay off. To work on your singing before you travel yourself with unavoidable television. Yeah, it doesn't roll off the tongue very well. Too many syllables. You need to fit it in a tiny verse. What do people know? What do people do if they need to go to the washroom? What if my rod hooks a big one while I'm in the washroom? I just can't go. Uh oh. Sounds like a you problem. I'm not a fisherman. What are you gonna have? Tentacool. Water poison type, um, weak to psychic, but it has beefy special defense. Rosetta shouldn't have a problem with it. Because, because of its, oh my god, especially if she crits. Because <laughs> she has a type advantage. Oh, you only had one. I lost because I'm trying to not go to the washroom. Why don't you go, take a break. There's more to life than fishing. 
trainer tips. Advice on catching a Pokemon with a rod. Press the O. We already went over that. And what do you have? What do you prefer? Fishing in the sea or stream? A stream. It's a lot more safer. I've seen horror videos about fishing in the sea. Oh, and you're gonna have magic carps. Great. Fishing's great, but so is battling. If you don't mind, can we meet again? Oh, I forgot to check which trainers we can register in the Pokémon of since our beginning of our adventure before we got it, but we can always do that later. It'll be easier once we get the HM for fly, and we can fly around. I knew there was another hidden item here in the rock. There's a Stardust. And are you a trainer? No, you're you're an NPC. Now I remember. Oh, Makuhira. Makuhira evolves into Hariyama, a pretty useful fighting type. It can learn Fake Out. It can learn. It can have the ability Thick Fat or Gut. So, do you want it to be more bulky or do you want it to be more offensive? Both options are very good. Hey, you! It's, it gets awfully dark ahead. It'll be tough trying to explore. That guy who came by earlier, Steven, I think it was. He knew how to use Flash, so he ought to be alright, but... But for us hikers, helping out those that we meet is our motto. Here you go, I'll pass this on to you. We get HM05. The hidden move Flash into a Pokemon and use it. Lights up even the inky darkness of caves. But to use it, you need the gym for Duford's Pokemon Gym. Or the gym badge. A lot of people... In their playthroughs, they skip the gym because it's really easy to navigate the cave, the darkness of the cave, without it. They can go deliver your letter to Steven, but I'm going to do things a little differently. I'm going to play a little bit how it's intended, and I'm going to challenge the gym first. Well, before we challenge the gym, there's a new Pokemon around here that I want to use on my team. Now... We'll be right back once I encounter it. 